everybody, my name is Troy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have got some LGBTQ plus book recommendations because it is Pride Month and I want to share some of my favorite uh, books that like have main characters that are in the LGBTQ plus community and that sexuality is a prevalent topic in the book and you know let's just we don't need to have a full long intro let's just get into it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and yeah, let's just get started. So the first book that I always recommend, but it is just so poetic, so beautiful, and it is a constantly New York Times bestselling book because of this, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Like, it is popular for a reason. It is just so poetic. And so this story takes place in a world where there is this thing called Death Cast, and basically 24 hours before you die, or a little bit less, they call you and tell you that you are going to die, which is a bit morbid, but it allows for people to have kind of this one last spectacular day before they do die and they are able to do um, a little bit more fun things they have more access to kind of some special privileges before they die and so we have like this alternating perspective between a wide cast of characters but the two main ones are Rufus and Mateo they both get it on the same night and they meet each other on the last friends app which is one of those things that are built for people that got called by death cast and we also kind of follow along some perspectives of other characters that kind of just add intrigue to the novel of characters that were not called by death Death cast or characters that were called death by death cast and like how they interacted and how some of the characters killed each other and all that stuff and it's just really interesting and I felt like the plot was so great but what I really loved about this book was the romance between Rufus and Mateo it came out of the blue like you would think that on the last friends app you would get a really good friendship but wow the romance was perfect um, it really was kind of like a slow burn and you didn't really expect it so that's what I really enjoy about this book and I think it's a great book that you should read especially because of the intricate plot and just the really interesting concept like it is a beautiful book so I definitely recommend that one next up we've got the gravity of us by Phil Stamper and we are set with Leon let me quick check mm, oh okay we were set with Cal, but he meets Leon later. But Cal Lewis is like this aspiring journalist. He has this uh, like social profile on this app called like Flash Fame. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Flash Fame. I got it right. Oh my gosh, let me go. And he has like uh, I think half a million followers or something on that. And he's really aspiring to be a journalist. But his dad is currently in the process of being selected for the space mission. His life could be uprooted. Um, as if he's selected, like he has to go to a whole different country and has to live under these rules that the space station has about media and stuff like that. And oh, lo and behold, coincidentally, it happens. And Cal has to immediately kind of uproot his life that he was very comfortable with in New York and go to this space station, I think NASA, and like more of a kind of chill laid back town. And the media production team thing at the space station are kind of limiting to him. They are like, they're telling him that he can't really talk about the things that he knows at the space station. It's really bumming him out, but he does meet this boy named Leon and they kind of start developing this romance together as they learn more about each other. And they're kind of both aspects of peace for each other as they both are living very complicated lives with their family situations and kind of just the immense like pressure that's on them being like these kids in this like really telling televised space station thing so it's really interesting to see just how they kind of find peace within each other and it's such a beautiful book as well just like they both die at the end and I definitely recommend. Next up we have got You Should See Me in a Crown where the main character and author are both in the LGBTQ plus community and this book is set in like a high school setting and has kind of that basic plot like going for the prom queen spot um, because basically the main character I can't remember who she was but she was trying to get into the like a uh, college program um, and she got accepted but she didn't get a scholarship for it so she needed like ten thousand dollars or something to get into the program and lo and behold <laughs> the winner of the prom queen and the prom king get ten thousand dollars scholarships for the school that they want to go to so she's like okay I really don't want to have to participate in this like social competition I'm really bad in social situations but I'm still gonna go for it and so she does she definitely struggles and we also find out on the way that this main character is a secret and that she does not like guys. She does not want a prom king. She wants a prom queen. And so she's suddenly outed um, by one of her friends. I can't remember exactly the plot because I read like eight months ago. And then all of a sudden she starts getting bullied, but she kind of 
finds a way to push through, she has to find a way to push through and also develop a relationship with this girl that she likes and do that while she's also battling like the immense like homophobia but also some people are supporting her so there's like this battle and it's crazy but I definitely recommend this book because the romance was really beautiful and I don't know I just thought the representation was great and it was just like a cute funny story that's not totally realistic but like we stand and <laughs> we stand it anyways next up we have got Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas and I know I talk about this in every single video I'm sorry but this is like a really 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 good book and like I I, if I cried while reading books then this would be a book that I cry to because wow it's just so immensely beautiful like the trans representation in the book is so amazing and I just love to see it so this book is actually centered around kind of like the transgender community because the main character is trans and he is kind of battling like the constant misgendering from his family and from people around him like he really wants to set and prove himself to his family that he is a real brujo so he goes and performs this ritual and lo and behold he does the ritual he's so happy but while he does that he also sets this ghost free named Julian 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 I think they pronounced it Julian in the audiobook so that's what I go with and he starts causing a lot of trouble in Yadriel's life but ooh, the two start growing feelings for each other over time as they start to find the mystery of a missing family member in Yadriel's family and why Julian was suddenly like pulled out of his grave and became a ghost like there's just a lot of mystery aspect of this book and that's what I like it's like it's it centers a lot around the trans community but it also has this great plot and with inspired by the like latinx culture and all of that stuff so it was just amazing and i thought it was such a good book and the ending was so good like so juicy it really it really slapped this book really slapped i probably read it in like two days like it was so good so definitely recommend that one and the last book that i have for you guys today is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan, and I read this recently, and oh my gosh, holy heck was this a great book. I was not expecting the LGBTQ plus representation in this book, and I don't know why I didn't, because it was beautiful, and like, when I say, like, I want LGBTQ plus romance, that is what I want to see, because it is just amazing. We are set with this main character named, ooh, let me try to remember, I'm like, if you're new to my channel, oh my god. That's one thing you should know about me. I cannot remember a thing for my dear life. Names specifically. Like, I can remember, like, the basic plot, but names. So it is, like, Leora or something. Lee. 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 Lee, Lee, Lee. I think that's her name. She is just living in her village one day. She works at her family's apothecary. Apothecary. Is that right? Apothecary. I don't know. We'll go with it. Um, she's working at her family's apothecary. <laughs> And earlier in her life, her mom was taken from her to go to the Demon King's castle, and she was never seen again. Those same soldiers go back and take Lee now, and so she's suddenly uprooted from her family for her very special, like, demon eyes. We still don't really know what's going on with her eyes, but, like, she's all had these, like, gold, like, these bright gold eyes from the moment she was born, and so she's taken for that to the castle, and she's forced to give her body to the king. That's basically what the paper girls are. Like, they're just the king's, you know, t toys or play dolls or whatever and it's just really disgusting and that's what I will say about this book and I always do um, it has a lot of sexual soul triggers but it's a great representation I think it was a great way to include that but it also when she's kind of at the castle she meets this other girl and just from the moment she lays eyes on her there's just something different from her it seems like and as the two get to know each other and kind of get over their like initial like upsetting reasons like that they don't really like each other or whatever they start to develop this romance as well and it's so cute and as lee gets to know this other girl ren more she finds out more about who she is and let's just say she's not an ordinary girl for sure and that there is this rebellious plot to kill the king underway and so obviously lee wants to join because you know she's been forced to give her body to him and that's just disgusting so like let's go and kill him like let's go a, A, A. And so that's basically the plot of the book. It is so beautiful. The plot is amazing, although a little teeny bit slow in the beginning. But like the romance makes up for it in every aspect. This is one of my favorite books, and someday I want it on my shelf because it's so beautiful. But yeah, that's it's amazing. I totally recommend. Go read it. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. If you ever want more recommendations, I got them. I could only narrow down to five, but I have more. I have more. Don't worry. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. I would 
would really, really appreciate it. And make sure to comment down below what you recommend me to read in terms of LGBTQ plus book recommendations. Subscribe to my channel down below for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you next week, hopefully. Love you guys and see you. Bye.